I'm Randy Osborne with the LSU Center for Geoinformatics and I'm going to show you a tech tip on how to use the alloy receiver as an output for 12 volts to your external modem and make them work as a system. First of all you go to the DB9 connector on port 2 on the back of the alloy receiver and you connect up pin 5 and pin 9 to a serial cable and then that gives you the output you need for uh, the 12 volt out. Pin 5 is the ground and pin 9 is the 12 volt out but you notice on the ohm meter by default it doesn't show any voltage coming out, it just got millivolts there. So what we need to do is we need to go into the alloy receiver and set up the receiver's output on pin on COM port 2 to give us exactly what we want. So I'm going to go into the alloy receiver and then I'm going to hit serial port number 2. On COM 2 I'm going to configure the output to be a MET tilt sensor and then from there I want to take the power output and enable it but you still notice on the ohm meter that nothing comes out. So I need to issue a command to the MET tilt sensor to get it activated and that's going to be a 0R0 zero zero. and I'm going to set it to do that one time and then hit OK and it'll send out that command and immediately you'll notice that the ohm meter goes to 12 volt out. 12 volt out is coming out of the modem and you notice the modem lights have come on and it's starting to power up and when we go back to the UI for the uh, receiver we see that we get a command being issued and it's uh, going to continue to give us 12 volts. Pretty cool stuff. Now remember, it only puts out 3.6 watts, so you got to check your device to make sure that it doesn't draw more than that. But the really cool thing is, is that the uh, unit is basically a system at that point, and the modem and the receiver work together as a team. So if you go into the receiver and you reboot it, or if you schedule a reboot every so often, every time it reboots, it'll also reboot the modem. So now that I got this working and it's giving me 12 volt out on my modem, I wanted to test it under load and see how long the two uh, batteries that are hot swappable in the alloy receiver would drive both the modem and the receiver uh, without any power. So I removed the power and ran it continuously off the battery and waited until uh, it ran out entirely. And it looked like it ran a little bit over eight, eight and a half hours without any problems. So the uh, power that's in reserve from the batteries will drive both the modem and the receiver for a bit over eight hours continuously without any interruption. It's a pretty, pretty neat little feature and, and the fact that these things now work together and you don't have to worry about if the modem goes down you can't get to the receiver because if the modem goes down the uh, receiver can be scheduled to reboot everything including the modem on a scheduled basis inside the alley receiver. This has been Randy Osborne with a Trimble alloy receiver tech tip.